Does CS graduates hate self-taught programmers? Today, we're gonna revisit this topic. We're gonna look at the original video I created a while back, and I'm gonna answer some questions and get some feedback from comments I see on the video and talk a little bit about this again. I think this is really important and I think you'd be interested. So stay tuned, stay all the way to the end so you can learn all about this. If you're new to the channel, my name is Eric Hanchett. I do programming tutorials. I also give topics of interest about computer science, programming, and general advice on careers. So watch out for that. All right, so here's the video. Do CS graduates hate self-taught programmers? This is a video I did last year and it really started a conversation for a lot of people because there is this attitude, especially in computer science, especially uh, with self-taught programmers, kind of everybody, it's like kind of us against them. You know, do self-taught programmers, do they despise people who got degrees? Do people with the degrees despise people who have, who are self-taught? And obviously, and the point of this video and, and what I want to try to say is that that it doesn't matter if you have a degree. It doesn't matter if you don't have a degree. When you get hired at a job, it matters what you can produce and how well you can do it. However, there's biases on both sides. There's self-taught programmers that don't like people with degrees that think they wasted their money. And then there's people who have degrees who look down on self-taught programmers. But either side, neither one is right or wrong. However, in this society that we live in today, unfortunately, having a degree is looked upon favorably for a lot of employers out there. It's, it's sometimes a gatekeeper to keep a lot of self-taught programmers or self-prop developers out of the workforce, out of getting these jobs because the HR departments will just pass on your resume if you don't have a degree, right, wrong, or indifferent. Now, I think a lot of that's mitigated with experience. If you could show you have equivalent experience, most places will uh, take that over someone that just has a degree with no experience, or they'll it'll be equivalent to someone that has a degree and experience. There's so many people trying to get jobs in web development nowadays that uh, it's really competitive. And so any sort of advantage that you have can help. So if you're trying to get a web development or backend development, um, or enterprise development, if you could show that you also have a degree on top of maybe the portfolio you created and the work that you've done, maybe some freelancing, that is really important. So that can actually put you above the rest, especially getting that all important first job. Once you start having a track record of experience and you have jobs underneath your belt, underneath your belt having a degree is not quite as important. Although, I have heard stories of even developers who've worked in the industry for years have not been able to get jobs because they didn't have a degree even though they had the experience, but it doesn't happen as often anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and read through some of these comments and uh, good, bad, or indifferent. I haven't looked at these yet, so um, I have hearted some of them, but I haven't, uh, I haven't really responded to any of them. So one, the first comment here, and this is from newest is, wow, equating a CS degree to programming is like equating a general contractor to a farmer or roofer. Programming is only one small aspect of computer science. I don't think I ever said that computer science or a CS degree was the same thing as a general contractor. Computer science degrees in general are a combination of math, uh, physics, um, a lot of theory. Now, there is the kind of cousin to, to the computer science degree, which is the software engineering degree, which are have been popping up quite a bit in the last few years. And those that degree is more focused on the computer classes than I believe the CS degree is. And it really depends on which university you go to. So if you have a, a software engineering degree, make sure you pipe up, but they are a little bit different. And definitely computer science is a lot more theory. And like I said, you, you mix in a lot of math and physics and of course, you still have to have all the general credits you need to graduate. We don't take the extensive math, physics, computer organization, algorithm development classes, and more just to make web pages or Android apps. <clears throat> As an old school 32-year-old CS engineer, maybe I don't understand the term programmer, but I think it was described in the video. CS majors develop signal processing programs, waveform generation software, complex algorithms, real-time embedded software, and much more that take the theory and skills obtained from CS3 to implement. Why I think self-taught programmers are more advanced <clears throat> and skilled these days due to the amount of information education available outside of college, I believe it's ignorant to compare 
the accomplishments to a CS degree. I mean, that's a good point. There, the CS degree is an encompassing degree that can provide you an opportunity to get a job in not just web development or front end or back end development. I mean, you can do everything from artificial intelligence, if that's your what you're interested in, uh, embedded software, uh, you know, higher end enterprise development. You might be using C sharp, Java. So some of these things, uh, these the CS degree can actually help you out with more than just doing web development or front end or back end development. I've met a lot of front end development engineers that don't have computer science degrees. I think that's more common, but when you start getting into the enterprise application level, I think you see a lot more people with degrees. In fact, I worked at a company where uh, everybody had a degree um, except maybe one or two people, and a lot of them had advanced degrees. And everybody, especially we had some H1 visa guys, we had people um, who had visas from India, almost every single one of them had like master's in computer science degrees. So that's pretty common. I don't think there is a need to look down on one degree or no degree. The criterion boss is looking for is whether the worker, where worker is working hard, self-motivated, motivated, eager to learn, takes initiative and ownership of the work he's given. I think generally that's true, but it's not always true. Fortunately, there's many bosses that do take consideration of your degree. Um, it, if we were in a perfect world, it would be a perfect meritocracy, but we aren't. So we definitely... Um, there's definitely influence what bosses look at and how they hire and who they judge people with uh, on the job. I think education needs to talk to what students want to learn first and they can make a custom path like first semester basic program everybody and all their semesters are just like what do you want to learn this semester? Because personally I learned more in one week in job tutorial while I was in 16th year CS your university yes you hear me in one year uh i mean this is there's plenty of of two-year associates degrees there's plenty of boot camps that kind of take that approach where they know that a four-year degree somewhere is going to really focus on the fundamentals and you're not going to get wall-to-wall web development python c-sharp javascript and so there is paths for people who are interested in that. Traditional education, uh, you know, is not, not necessarily like that. I don't, so this is kind of a controversial part of the video. I did talk about a degree being sort of an unfair advantage in meaning that uh, in life, you want to get all the advantages you can. And having that degree is just one more checkbox that you can have when you're trying to get a job. I mean, there's also many other benefits of having a degree. One could argue the social interaction, the first time being outside of your parents' home many times. That's the first time you move out of your houses sometime during college. There's uh, the, the partying, there's the social aspect, there's getting internships, it's making the connections that you wouldn't normally do. Uh, you know, I once talked to someone who said, well, couldn't they just go and go to meetups every week and get a job? doing web development on the side and then go to parties near their house with their friends and get the same thing they could have gotten with college. I, I don't think there's equivalent to the two. I don't think those things are equivalent. Uh, nevertheless, though, uh, I, I do think it's an unfair advantage. You have to work hard and pay a lot to get it. If you don't have a degree, that's fair enough. But personally, I would trust someone I would trust someone with a degree over self-taught to employ someone. Yeah, but again, they had to work to get it. Unless I had some form of recommendation from some institution that say that they are good, then they're equally ground. I mean, that's kind of fair to say. Some people think that that's why developers, uh, people with degrees, tend to have easier time getting jobs. All right, so there's there's plenty of really great observations here. I'm not going to go through them all, but uh, I think this is all a, a great way just to think about what what you guys think. Uh, this is a great thing to think about, like how we judge developers with degrees and not degrees. Uh, I think we could have a pretty long conversation on this. If you guys like this video, please click that subscribe button. I'm going to leave it at that. Leave a comment below. Do you think, what do you think about this CS degree versus self-taught? I mean, there's one point <clears throat> I like to make is that in the Stack Overflow survey, they asked uh, a bunch of developers, 
uh, what they consider themselves. And a majority of them considers themselves self-taught, even though they had a degree. And many of them had computer science degrees and many of them had master's degrees. So this idea of self-taught could also be something where you don't have to, even though you consider yourself, uh, uh, even though you have a degree, you can also be self-taught. You're always learning. I think that's an important distinction. You know, I think I consider myself a self-taught programmer, even though I went to a traditional college because I'm always learning. I learned Vue.js, I learned Ember.js, I learned Angular, all on my own. I never took any classes on any of those. So I think that's something to keep in mind too. Take care, guys.